Jeezy Army! It's Commander Jeezy here, bringing you another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. This time it's a multi against Trolling Tai Tai, Bryant, and Delano. We've got a Ditto on one side, we've also got Rotom Wash, and now we're looking at two Caesars, Dragonite and Victini. I'm gonna go ahead and run in with my Greninja, Talonflame, and Garchomp while Delano is running in with his Starmie, Gardevoir, and Empoleon. Not something you see often. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this battle as I hope you are as well. <laughs> looking at that type, the typing, in my opinion, I think our opponents actually have the type advantage here. So here we go. Victini comes out and Caesar to start the battle. Just like that, I'm going to go ahead and send in Greninja and my partner sending in Starmie. So immediately, we kind of have a type advantage here against Victini, but that Gardevoir kind of worries me some. He immediately switches out and sends in his Ditto, which is an imposter Ditto, and he transforms to me, Greninja. <laughs> so surprised. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hidden power off. It's not going to do much because, well, he just transformed to me, and he's still Water Dark type. My hidden power is fire. My my um, partner is just chilling there. I'm very surprised Victini ran bug, a bug U-turn on me. Um, I would have expected him to run that on the Starmie. He probably would have done more damage. So red still comes in, the Caesar. We're going to go ahead and get a surf here. Since I'm a fire type, that actually does a lot more on me than it should have. At this point, I'm thinking, what are you doing? Why are you surfing me? <laughs> Red still Mega Evolves. We've got Mega Caesar here now. We've got a Bullet Punch coming in. And that's going to go ahead and he take me down to one. Luckily, it only took me down to one because now I can get my Hidden Power Fire off. It's going to be enough to take down Red Steel. <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, wow, how did I survive that? Now, we have... A hidden power, Dark, over here from this Grid Ninja. And, um, yeah, it's enough to cause me to faint. So, I'm done and out. Starmie's gonna go ahead and use Ice Beam. Ice Beam is gonna do a little bit of damage, but not enough to take out this Grid Ninja. Now, if you're asking why his hidden power was different, it's because it goes off of his EVs and IVs. Or IVs. I'm gonna go ahead and use, um, yeah, Bird Jesus. And,. We're going to go ahead and use Talonflame to Brave Bird, the Ditto, to get out of there. So I'm damaged a little bit by Recoil. We've got an Ice Beam coming. It's going to hit Dragonite pretty hard. At this point, I'm hoping it's not a weak night. It is a weak night. I am hoping very much so that he does not have extreme speed at this point. He runs Dragon Dance, fortunately for me. <laughs> he runs Dragon Dance. He gets his attack up, his speed up. And I am sitting here like, please don't run extreme speed. Please don't run extreme speed. Don't turn it around. Luckily, he didn't. I get this Brave Bird off. And you know who I go for, right? That's right. Dragonite. Get rid of that Dragonite who just buffed up. Luckily for us, he didn't use extreme speed. I get a little bit of damage. And now I got to worry about, yeah, this guy. Bolty. Starmie runs Thunderbolt. Gets a crit. Does quite a bit. Now we have a Will-O-Wisp on Starmie. Now... Burning the Starmie is okay. It's going to damage him residually, but since he's not a physical attacker, that does not really matter. Um, for those that wonder, if you're using Burn on people, make sure you're doing it to a physical attacker, or else it's really there's really no point in using a Burn except to get residual damage. Other than that, unless you got Hex. Alright, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and Brave Bird this Victini. It's going to do half damage here. And he's going to run Bolt Strike. Obviously, Bolt Strike is going to hurt and take out my Talonflame, unfortunately. I love the way that looks, by the way. It's a crit hit. Talonflame goes down. And, yeah. Goodbye, world. <laughs> Starmie's going to go ahead and use Psy Shock on this Rotom. It's going to do quite a bit of damage, but not enough to take him out. Rotom's going to run Hydro Pump. Starmie's going to be able to eat that up for breakfast. It's not very effective. Now, at this point, we notice he's got um, lefties. So now we've got to figure out how to deal with that. Starmie gets that residual burn damage, um, but like I said, it's not going to really lower his attack. Or it lowered his attack, but did nothing for a special attack. All right, we're going to go ahead and Dragon Claw this Victini, take out Victini so we don't have to worry about him anymore. Or her, I don't know what it was. 
if anything. <laughs> I lose some HP, and Starmie's gonna go ahead and run Psyshock on this Rotom. It's gonna be enough to take out Bolty. So now we've got... Now the opponents really only have not much left to deal with. <laughs> Trolling Tai Tai sends out Caesar. That's, that's all I can really say, yeah. Caesar comes out. He's gonna Mega Evolve. He's the last poke for them. The question is, is can we take him out? With two pokes, I'm confident we can. Shoot, we may even be able to do it with one. He runs Bullet Punch. That's going to hit me pretty hard, but you know what? Ruskin's going to hit him back, and then I'm going to use Fire Fang. That's right. My Garchomp's packing Fire Fang. Fire Fang is super effective. It is enough to take out Caesar, and my partner doesn't have to do anything because, well, we're good to go. <laughs> That's the end of the battle, guys. So good battle here with Trolling Tai Tai, Brian, and Delano. What would you have done differently? Because I'm pretty sure that matchup could have turned out differently. Let me know what you all think in the comments section. And if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. It shows me that you all appreciate what I'm doing and that you would like some more. You can also check out some of my other videos here on my channel. We have links here to Pokemon Battles, Pokemon Livestream videos, and to my Titanfall playlist in case you're looking for something different. Keep up with all my uploads and show your support. Please share this video and subscribe to Mr. AGZ to join in on the GZ Army. We live stream Saturdays, Sundays, and Wednesdays. Alright guys, until next time, catch them all.